The Curse Season 1, Episode 9 Recap, All In Season 1, Episode 9, Young Hearts It's amazing what a reality television edit can do. Throughout The Curse, we've been exposed to what Asher and Whitney look like acting for the cameras, but we have rarely seen what they are like when they are actually on camera, once they've gotten the glossy treatment that the Property Brothers and other hosts have before them. The truth is, Whitney might seem painfully fake in her daily interactions, but she performs very well. She's a natural, and watching a cut of the newly retitled Green Queen, it's easy to understand why the network is so high on her. All of that falsity fades away under the bright lights, which crave that sort of manicured behavior. She fits into her role perfectly. This week's episode, is revelatory with regards to Whitney on multiple levels, and it's also a tour de force for Emma Stone, an actress whose natural understanding of the camera and what it can do allows her to play all the facets of this complicated, troubled character. The episode leaves no doubt about just how wrong she and Asher are for each other. But before then, a series of smaller Whitney-related events peel back layers of her carefully constructed persona. Why did Whitney marry Asher? The question has plagued the series. Their relationship is so lacking in any affection that doesn't feel forced, you have to rack your brain to imagine a time when they were truly in love. Here, we get clarity on some of her potential reasoning. Asher's infatuation with Whitney provided her with an escape hatch. She could take his name to get away from her old life as a lackey for her parents. After learning that a relative of one of the show's drivers was evicted from a building run by her parents, she googles herself under her old name, Whitney Rhodes. There's a photo of her smiling at the opening of the complex, complicit in all of their misdeeds. Asher was a way to disassociate from her parents on paper even if she's still using their money to fund her ventures. She's no longer Whitney Rhodes, she's Whitney Siegel, who wears a Star of David around her neck to further distance herself from her past no matter how merely symbolic that piece of jewelry is. Maybe at one point the intensity of Asher's affection was appealing to Whitney, who saw something almost exotic in his Judaism. Now, however, she can't stand him. And what's worse, now they have to perform for a representative from HGTV, Martha, stopped by to check up on the show's progress. When Dougie, parroting what he has heard from the network, explains that the storyline about the dissolution of their marriage isn't going to work, Whitney starts to cozy up to Asher again. And she yet can't help but feel enraged by his little touches. Asher challenges her to say that she loves him. She refuses, though she will go bowling, clearly a favorite pastime of his, to make amends.